540 now. A lot of people have new cell phones on their holiday wish list this year, but some of the latest models can definitely get pricey. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, you can sell your old phone to help reduce your out-of-pocket costs, but first, you want to protect any information that's stored on the device. Consumer expert Amy Davis is here to help with that. Yeah, I mean, talk about confusing, because it depends if you have an Android, if you have an For Apple sure. phone, mm. but you definitely want to do that. Consumers sell or trade about 120 million used smartphones a year, and depending on the age, the model, condition, you can get up to 400 bucks for your old phone, but all of that personal information you have stored on the device could be worth way more than that to thieves. Smartphones carry all kinds of personal information like your passwords, contacts, and bank transactions. So don't sell until you remove all of it. First, back up your data. We've got the link on how to do this on Apple devices on click2houston.com. If you have an Android-based phone, Google automatically does the backup for you, but you have to sign into your Google account on your phone. After you save your data, you can do a factory reset to wipe the phone's memory clean of apps, photos, videos, and email. On Androids, you first have to remove factory reset protection. If you don't, the new owner will be prompted to enter their username and password for the last Google account registered on the device. The phone will remain locked and they can't gain access without your password. Next, use a paper clip to remove the SIM card on the side of the phone. This contains information linked to your cell account, which you'll need to access activate a new phone. Okay, so now you want to know how much can I get for my old phone. You can compare prices on eBay, Swappa, and Gazelle. You may make more money selling on websites like Amazon, YouSell, or Craigslist. Phone stores offer buyback programs that pay less, but definitely sometimes they can be more convenient. Sure. You don't have to worry about going five different places and mailing it and then hoping to get money back. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, but maybe it does pay to shop around. Question is how much. So right. Get what you can get. Thank you, Amy.